Welcome back, everybody, to Welcome. Detroit to Become Human. To the good, good city of Detroit. Yep. Uh, I'm going to uh, just move on here. Yeah. Last time we met Kara and Todd and Alice. Yep. And they're very lovely home family. They have a great dynamic. Mm. And Todd is a trustworthy, healthy. stable, healthy human being. Exactly. Oh, we're back to... Marcus. Marcus is his name. Did we learn that last time? No. No, we did not. Spoiler, what if mine's called something different? Because I should made certain choices. Then it's not a spoiler. Oh, good point. <laughs> oh, no, he's Marcus. It's right there. Deposit package, if, if you know you what, know I, what mean. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> L1. They always give you the option to look at yourself in a mirror. Uh, wait. I mean, zebra you get pelt? the metaphor of that, right? Well, sure. Yeah, like, you're not. Are you actually looking at yourself? Yeah. Painting, butterflies. Ugh. Butterfly metaphors are always the worst. <laughs> it's just so obvious. All right, put it down. Oh, I can take off my jacket. Right. Now that you're in a home, you don't have to be identified as an android. Why do I care about that? Why do I just wear it? What's the difference? Um, I guess your owner would prefer that. I suppose. I guess. Yeah, if that's my instruction. I mean, at Todd's house... Look at these cool stairs. That's really rad, actually. Yeah. At Todd's house, Kara didn't t take anything off. That's true. That's true. That's I guess true. it's an owner preference. Uh, can I go through in these doors? Wait, what's my objective? Wake Carl upstairs. Carl! Oh, open! <laughs> Coral! Consume. <laughs> Eat bird. <laughs> oh, I don't want to turn... Oh, it's a robot bird! Hey, I was right! There, there are robot go. animals! I don't want to turn on these birds. That's weird. <laughs> okay, how do I turn this bird on? Well, you gotta rub it. <laughs> I gotta rub Wait, what? <laughs> uh, uh, Just no. how we programmed them. Go on. All right. Turn on the birds. <laughs> and then you gotta go upstairs and turn on Carl. <laughs> oh no! Alright. That's how he likes to be woken up every morning. No. Uh, no, you know that's true. I don't know if they'll address anything like that in this game, but you know there's people out there that their androids are very specifically designed. <laughs> Alright, we're ta oh, we're taking the food up to him. Breakfast in bed, my Which man. Pro uh, seems like it was optional, so we're gonna do a better job than we could have possibly done. Look how happy you are about that. I'm learning things. <laughs> I need I need to go back to video game style of checking everything all the time in situations like this. Although I feel like if I wait too long, he'll wake up and be angry that he's late or something. It's all possible. It's po it's just all see, of it, it is possible. It, this definitely feels like that's very possible. Take tray to oh we're just taking it to the dining table. Oh, so there may also even be the doors are robots. Just like. The balanced approach, in as much as you take a quick look, you do what you need to do, and then you go to your objective. Yeah. Hey, look. Giraffe. Another giraffe. What? There's been giraffes. There's a giraffe at Kara's house, and now there's oh. a big giraffe here. There's another giraffe. There yeah. you go. That's because giraffes go through a pretty big metamorphosis, if you didn't know this. That's true. <laughs> they go wrap themselves up in a very tall cocoon, and, and then they break out of it with their neck muscles. <laughs> And that's what trees are. Uh, yep. Someday you should Google uh, giraffes fighting. <laughs> it's hilarious and also terrifying. Male giraffes. Yeah, yeah. Just fighting each other with their giant necks. It's crazy. Ooh, chess. Checkmate and three moves for silver. All right. Good job, silver. Uh, hi-ho, silver. Whenever Spin. somebody's like, checkmate in three moves, I'm like, oh, really? And then I want to move a piece to make it in like one move. Or just flip the whole thing. <laughs> Checkmate in one move. Hey. I'm going to name that giraffe Barry. That's a good name. Barry the giraffe. Can I play piano? You need a big hole. Ooh, I can try. You missed my Barry the giraffe pun. Yeah, big hole. Yeah, I gonna, see what you you're mean. You're going to bury it. It would have been cool like in the ground. if, I don't remember, it might have been, but if he tried to recreate the song that he heard from the busker. Oh. That would have been cool. This reminds me of a, our, my last D&D &D session where I basically created a mansion that had like a, a series of clues that they had to fi find Ooh, out. fun. It was a really fun, it was a fun thing. Uh, if I spent more time on it, it would have been better, but 
it was fun. Let's clean it up. Oh, there's more. Okay, now the paints make a lot of sense. Now. <laughs> there's the connection there. It's a painter. <laughs> it's an artist. Man, that room. Yeah. Clearly a rich man. Yeah, I wish I was that rich. Sweet fancy Moses. I think that's the robot from uh, uh, Tony Stark's lab. Oh, yeah. In my head. Gre greetings, grandfather. In my head. You How said are you? Tony Hawk. How are you? I was <laughs> really confused. Well, yeah, Tony Stark's lab. Lab, like lab, uh, Labrador. No. The animal. T Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk's lab, Labrador. Labrador. Got it. Owns that robot. Yeah. He's also really rich for some reason. Tony Hawk? No, the Labrador. Oh, okay. All right, let's go wake up Carl. I mean, Tony Carl! Hawk. Tony Hawk doesn't have a small amount of money. No, he's like the greatest escape. Well, maybe not the greatest skateboarder of all time, but just the most well known. You don't have fifty six Tony Hawk games and not make a little right a few bucks off it. All right, let's go up and see Carl. Carl and Todd are just funny names <laughs> to me for some reason. They're the most human -y human names. That's very true. Got oh, is that his uh, go down the stairs? thing whatever that like the seat that takes you down the stairs is carl an old no man? it's marcus's one <laughs> okay one of them is jumping the other one's like being weird about it like licking <laughs> their neck sticking his tongue out ah uh, that's cool whale bones or some kind of bones yeah that's not a whale my friend <laughs> why not it's a small whale like an orca look at its skull it's a deformed small orca <laughs> Obviously. Okay, that's a window. It has legs. Yeah, very deformed, <laughs> small orca. <laughs> You're right. It looks more like your mom. Exactly. Wait. Where am I? Wait, Carl, upstairs. He's going to go upstairs and then be like, Carl! Hey! <laughs> Wake up! Wake up! Grab us a makeup! Uh, no. Where is he? Oh, oh there's the door. I see There it. we go. Nothing out the window. He has so many books. What a nerd. Jealous. Here we go. All right, get a pen and paper. Yep, draw some curtains for him. <laughs> Look, I can art also. <laughs> He is a bit of an old man. Oh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. I wish I could sleep. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? I physically cannot. You never forget anything. Take your medicine, old man. Shoves it in his mouth. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. I like Don't that they him. have, a, like, a relationship. Yep. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. He's got some sweet tats, though. I'm excited for when the machine. old population are all tatted up. Mm. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hmm. Hey. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street. Car. Oh, okay. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids. That's a good point. <laughs> I beat up an android. Not going to build any more roads now. Oh, no, no. <laughs> they just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. They're dead now. <laughs> I'll take you to the bathroom now. Took my shirt off to wash the blood. <laughs> Scooping up that old boy. <laughs> and then just hurl him out the window. <laughs> Ah! Yeet! Yeet! <laughs> it's better for both of us. You just go now. 
He's got skulls hanging from his roof. That's awesome. I saw a meme. It was just like a, a Tumblr feed, a Tumblr like comment section. One was just like, what does yeet mean anyway? And it's like, oh, it's something that you say when you're like throwing something or giving something to somebody. And somebody's like, it's the opposite of yoink. Yeah. And like, wait, so the Lord, Lord yeeted, yeeted and the Lord, Lord yoinketh, yoinketh away? away. <laughs> All right, take Carl to the dining table. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. All right, now mm. shove him off the stairs. <laughs> we'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. He answered all the fan mail for him? Yep. Any news from Leo? Race! Oh, no, he's faster than me. No, Carl. It's the one time he gets to be faster I than me. I can call him if you like. <laughs> no. No, I don't bother. All right. Say hello to your robot birds. Your row birds. Row birds is nice. I like that. Ooh, doing some donuts. Marcus, I... <laughs> I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank That's you. what I'm talking about. Yeah, it sounds good. I have bacon at home, but no eggs. We bought fancy bacon for Christmas. Mm -hmm. So good. Yep, yep, yep. It was like thick cut, like <laughs> legitimately. Like... Also, you're hearing this a couple days after Christmas. Or we're recording this a couple days after Christmas. That's true, right. Uh, Television. It was like ham steaks, but from the pork belly. Like yeah, they're pork just like belly. Huge, yeah. thick, good, and good, cured, good. peppered bacon. Oh, so Delicious. Good. Several Russian warships are taking a position. Okay, we got. Well, <laughs> it's a pretty safe bet in any like future thing to just say we have problems Why with the Russians. <laughs> right, it's gonna happen. <laughs> sure. Okay. Cool. Unlike now. Right. Which in everything the future. is Chichi and keen with the Russians. Breakfast served. Find something to do. What if I... I'll Go just, play your PlayStation 4. Uh, play, I play a game called Detroit Become Android. <laughs> it's called uh, Durango Become Android. Durango, Colorado. Like Dodge Durango. I'll just look at this. these books. Is that a holy... Is that say holy Bible? Yes. Doesn't look like no, the word it Bible. It says holy something. Television holy off. crap. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed. This guy wishes he could be an android stupidity so much. and violence. Five thousand years of civilization just to get to where we are. Okay. I can read this book. I'm reading the book. Reading Ooh, the Keats book. Odes, Shakespeare, Plato, or find something else. I'm going to go philosophical on everybody. All right. <laughs> Are you just watching me read it? He's read the entire book. What are you reading? Plato's Republic. It says one you're of the books gay. He recommended. <laughs> so what do you think? Just kidding. I, I quite like that. philosophy, I think. It asks the questions that I can't answer. You know, what is right or what is wrong, for example. This is the most we've seen an Android so talk. To decide. In a in a non like no answers, part of this is my no job marks. kind of way. Mm -hmm. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. <laughs> You'll have to protect yourself. Make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. Interesting. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Maybe I'll become a surgeon at a hospital in Seattle. <laughs> Take Carl to the studio. So, so that's, that's a good question. For, you picked uh, up, you picked up Plato. Yeah. And they discussed the philosophy discussed of who, being. Who I, who I am. Who yeah. I, who I, deciding who I can be. And uh, you talked about like why he talks so much. Well, it's because it's encouraged by his owner. Like his owner wants yeah. him to be conversational. So that makes he sense. Is. Uh, I am wondering what happens to an android when their owner dies. 
Do they just would, go back to the store, or I don't is know. it in their will or something? I would maybe it's in their will. They yeah. say, or maybe they're reset and sold secondhand. Let's see where right. we left off. Remove the sheet. Oh, that robot! That's so cool. Yes, it is. I want one of those without having broken, you know, legs that don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Remove the sheet. What would you do with it? Oh. What wouldn't I do with it is the question. Stay on the first floor. Yeah, good point. Wait for Carl's instructions. I heard, oh, I thought I cleaned the studio already. All right, there's probably stuff I missed. Yep, over there in the corner. So yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't let you clean the bathroom. That was very strange. Yeah. And then just yeah, shoves them all on the Take ground. Take that. It's called art. Okay, over there. There's such a meta art to this in which artists Ooh, designed can... this area. Like art designers yeah. and level designers designed this area to look like an art studio and very successfully did so to make it look like he's a very successful artist. Like, yeah. There's just a meta art in this that I'm really appreciating right now. There we go. Wait for new instructions. Okay, this is clearly set up for me to kind of work to do something with it. He's going to tell me if I, you know, hey, are you interested? Do some art. Art for me. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Hmm. What do you think, Fox? I don't like the. I, I'm gonna go with like. Yes, I like it more than I don't like it. About it. Mm. it seems unfinished to me, though. Quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by, I, I've seen this actor somewhere. End. Yeah, I just, just don't know an who old he is. man clinging to his brushes. Carl. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you there have it is. talent. There it is. Called it. You called it. I mean, it's very try. obvious. Try painting something. It's clearly the Paint literal blank I slate in this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> How are they going to... I'm interested in seeing like what the options are going to be. <laughs> All right. Self-portrait. Market or painting Carl. Find a subject. To okay, so I actually get to pick... To copy his paint statue, paint desk. Okay, so all the, throughout this game, I'm thinking like, what are my, what are the choices they're giving me, trying to say about what I. So am I just gonna repeat what he does because that's I like it, so I'm just gonna do it again? Am I going factual with the desk, like an actual like object? It's not an artistic object; it's just a thing that has stuff, or a statue that is a piece of art that portrays a certain thing. So what do I want to pick here? Do I want to be Robot Man? Do I want to imitate what I think is good? Or do I want to do something on my own? And I'm going to do that. What I think is... what That's how I'm interpreting what their their, right. their choices are. That's interesting because I would have interpreted that differently. Okay. I would have said that copying what was already there would be Robot Man. Okay. Just I can see that too. Yeah. That statue would be like painting unlife something that is not alive and oh. that is just but the the splattered art of the table a little the, chaotic the, the, and the, a little, yeah little that's more the one that natural. is more, most like life like interesting all right yeah it's it, that is game a copy. is games are art they are indeed reality the painting is not about replicating the world it's about interpreting improving on it showing something you see according to you Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go. Try it. Grab that canvas. I think the reality of it is all three of them were going to be just copying. I was just repeating something else. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Yeah, here's the real question. Trust all me. I, like, is it talent? 
I'm literally a robot. Yeah. Like, I'm just going by programming. It. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. That's literally impossible. Now, you cannot imagine something that doesn't exist. <laughs> on how it makes you feel. You can imagine combinations of things that do exist. Right, animal. but something that doesn't exist cannot be imagined. Ooh, yellow circle time. It's like my processing. It's like the... Uh, and like the apple wheel that shows up hmm. or the hourglass what do you want to think super. about what is your what do you want to paint an interpretation of I'm gonna go with identity it's a little more abstract than the th than the other two uh I don't feel like he's in despair or feels like a prisoner I'm gonna go with doubts so about, doubts who, about identity. who he is yeah I like it I like it a lot up. <laughs> I wanted to look at it and it's the same exact thing as last time. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I did copy paste. A carbon copy, yeah. <laughs> yep, a little, little dot right there. Now, this is a fun use of them. This is cool. Yeah. I've always liked this part. Hello? Is it like his deadbeat son or something? Earlier, Carl hey, asked about Leo. Oh, okay. Leo contacted me. Leo. He said, no, do you want me to contact him? Yeah, and I he's like, that. no, don't bother. I missed I that. I didn't hear you gotcha. come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? Okay. Guessing that a connection is going to be between right. Leo and Todd. Todd is Leo's yeah, drug dealer. So oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen. Uh, Purely listen, based on how he's uh, being all... All twitchy right okay. now. Right. What happened to the money I just gave you? Drugs. I bought some red ice. It just goes, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. It no, doesn't no, look like he painted that. the God, circle me, on his. What on difference his does it make? I just need some Can't cash. Can't really tell, it's super. But. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? Good job, Carl. You know why? Yeah. Yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's a god that I don't? It's smarter, <laughs> more obedient, not like me, right? Attractive. You got know this what? cool this painting that I just painted. It's not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. <laughs> no, that's my other machine. <laughs> enough. <laughs> you don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. Okay, bye. <laughs> you never loved me. <laughs> Can you blame me? <laughs> I did once upon a time, then you became a douchebag. <laughs> now you're this guy. <laughs> Looks like he has a snake around his neck. Hmm. Is that the end of the chapter? Yeah. So good. 56%? How? <laughs> How? I'm guessing, okay. Does 56%, well, no, I can tell right here. There Imagine, are things I, I mean, did not do. Well, no. Right off the bat, you could have painted androids, humanity, or identity. 56% means out of all the possibilities, that's what I've seen. Yes. Not that I only did 56% of the possible things like, within this arc. Because there are some times Correct. where you can only choose one out of Correct. three. This okay. is 50 to 6 percent That's of better. This okay. Chapter. That I okay. That's better. Yeah. I don't really worry about that right now then. Uh yep. Because I pretty much did I did I didn't I feel like I did pretty well there as far as like doing so the, things. So the way that you could see how well you did or did not do is if there is a choice that breaks off and yeah. then there's only locked things afterward. Gotcha. So, like, for example, you'll see that down there it said so, activate birds. That was my only, like, you I had two other options? not activated birds, or you could have activated one of the birds. That's gotcha. my guess. I don't know, but or that's something. my guess. Yeah. But you did do one of those things. Gotcha. But some of them would, would potentially have all locked options right. that I didn't do anything of. Right. So I did pretty well here, actually. Right. You did everything you could do. In, that in that was my favorite uh, chapter so far. I really oh, liked it. Oh, man. That, that, that I mean, is one of my favorite chapters. It, th too. This, so far, it had the fun action opening, which, you know, you get in anything. But 
I've really enjoyed, like my favorite sci-fi is slow burn makes you think sci-fi it is exactly and it's been a little on the nose so far and i don't expect it not to be the whole game will be doesn't mean it's not important to think about right uh and so far it's just been like pondering some questions yeah it's real good uh so yeah this is really good yep we will see uh what's gonna happen next time we'll see if we're gonna go with kara or marcus since you know connor's dead but uh, we'll see what step we take next. See you guys later. I Bye. had a whole character die <laughs> in the first five minutes. I'm so sorry, everybody. I feel like I'm depriving you. I might, after this, like go back and just do try to like save Connor and then do it again so I can see what Connor's story is. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Well, yeah, thanks for watching. We will see you next time. Bye.